Hey guys, what's going on? Nick here with GearNet. Pardon the background noise, but it's recess time. <laughs> so, the kids across the street are playing. It's pretty funny. But, sucks for videos. But anyhow, my friend Josh over at Frog Tech Gear Sanctuary sent me the beast of a blade. Um, he wanted to... T <laughs> wanted to... Here's a size comparison, guys. Here's a Mora. <laughs> it's just towers, this thing. This thing is awesome. It's one of the biggest file knives I've ever seen. But uh, Josh wanted me to make a sheath for this, and he wanted me to beat on it and see what I thought about it. So we'll go over my thoughts and something that I would change if this was my own personal knife. But uh, it's not my personal knife. It's uh, going to be going around the community. So some things I would change is I would uh, resharpen right down here on this finer, uh, finer portion of the blade for doing fine work. It's uh, nice and sharp up in here, but it just needs a little bit more sharpening down here. So that's, that's one of the first things I would do. Uh, the next thing I would do is I would replace these wood scales or reprofile them a little bit to allow for some batoning right up in here. I did chip this handle, uh, chopping with it, and I probably started it when I batoned. I smacked right here, so that might have influenced the wood chip that I did get, but other than that, I mean, if you guys are just going to use this as a bowie knife and not a wood processing knife, these handles are perfectly fine. But, uh, you know, a large blade like this, I want to be able to use it in wood processing because that's where these things really shine in my point of view. So, but uh, other than that, this thing is absolutely outstanding. Um, the knife maker's name's John. I'm not too sure about the rest of the specs um, or if he has a business or anything like that. So... I'll get with Frog Tech. We'll uh, roll in some information about this knife, and if you want one like it, where you can get one. And I'm absolutely impressed with this knife. These big knives are not easy to make. A lot of guys don't make big knives. So I know I don't have the skill to do it, so I appreciate the work that someone would do to make a knife like this. So, but uh, this is an absolutely outstanding knife. And the sheath, I usually don't do big sheaths. But how can you turn down a handsome, handsome bearded man? So, Josh, I can't say no to you. So, the sheath is infantry green, as you guys can see. I did do a paracord wrap on it. Um, I ran out of material, so <laughs> it was so big, I didn't really know, you know how much material I was going to use. But basically, it took a whole sheet, uh, a whole sheet of Kydex to do this in one knife. But... I'm really, really happy that I did it, and I'm really glad that Josh got me to do a big knife because now I know what it would take for me to do bigger knives. Um, I did have to press this thing 10 times, heat it up, press it 10 separate times. I ended up doing it in sections, uh, started down here with the handle, pressed it, and continued down the blade and pressed all the ripple out, and it actually worked out great. So all you need is a heat gun and a small kydex press and you can do uh, larger knives uh, it does it take some talent and it does take a lot of work and a lot of heating and pressing it takes about a day <laughs> so but it works out um, I did do a thumb ramp as you guys can see right up here and it is molded around my thumb it does fit my thumb picture perfect um, so when this thing goes around the community just uh, Give me some feedback on this and if that's a good size or if I should um, change that if I ever do bigger knives. But with a bigger knife, you do need, you know, you do need some retention. So I got uh, a little extra retention off of this part of the blade. The Kydex does pinch down and hold. Um, and I got the locking point down here on this handle. So it works out really well. It's got a nice Kydex click. You know, this thing is not going to shake out. <laughs> it's a heavy knife. So, um, just a little size comparison. Here's a Mora Companion. I think it's a Companion. Let me check this thing out real fast. I always leave the stickers on here. But, yeah, it's a Mora Companion. And just look at the size comparison of this thing, guys. I mean, it's a beast. It's absolutely awesome. And I just now got into some bigger knives. 
I just got an SE6, and this thing's bigger than an SE6. And I just got a SE Hunglus, I think that's how you say the name. It looks like Junglus, but it's pronounced Hunglus? I don't know. But uh, I just now got into those bigger blades, and I absolutely love them. So, but uh, thank you again, Josh, for sending this by. Sorry about the, the handles. Yeah. <laughs> I'm rough. But uh, I absolutely love it, and thank you for the opportunity, Josh. So, the next stop is going to be Tom Chitwood. So, Tom, when you get this knife, give it a little once-over, take it out, use it, and give us your thoughts on it. Um, I'll have to get with Josh over at Frog Tag Gear Sanctuary and see if he wants us to do any changes to this. But I wasn't going to ship this knife with uh, chipped handles, you know, so... I sanded those out, and it fits my hand really well, but everybody's hand is different. So, but uh, so Tom, when you get this, we'll uh, get you a little bit more information on this, and we will uh, see what else we can do. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you guys like videos like this, you know, go give Frog Tech a subscription. Ooh, go check out Tom Chitwood too. But uh, those two guys are absolutely outstanding, nice guys. <laughs> it's kind of hard to find nice guys nowadays, but there's, there's quite a few of them out here in this community. So if you guys don't know about our online community on YouTube, uh, basically go around and check out all the shout-outs that everybody does for everyone, and you will start finding a lot of nice people out here. So, But that's what I have. Hope you enjoyed this video. You know... Go hit Tom Chitwood up, and go hit Josh over at Frog Tech Gear Sanctuary up. I'll put their channel links below. So, that's what I got. I'll check you later. And this thing is taking a beating. <laughs> because this piece that I chopped off right here, that's black walnut. <laughs> it's a beast. So... We'll cut some more of this, uh, I think this is another piece of black walnut. So we'll cut this up too while we're at it. Those leaves, so annoying. Thing, as soon as it has a backstop, this thing just uh, powers right through it. You know, I mean, it's got, I'm really grabbing right back here on the handle, and I'm locking my ring finger on this hump and just working out really well. There's some more of this black walnut. It does have a little bit of bug damage on it. As you guys can see, this stuff is really hard and it's really dry. Sorry the frog tech, it's getting dirty. But I did make a sheath for it. So we're even, maybe. I don't know how we're gonna clean that off. Huh. Maybe Tom can clean it. 